Hello, welcome to another Boxing Predictions video. It's Danny Garcia versus Adrian Broner. So for the last couple of uh, days, I've heard a rumour circulating that Adrian Broner and D Danny Garcia are scheduled to face off early next year, or sometime uh, in 2018. Um, uh, the rumours are circulating that they're going to fight one for seven, which of course is the waterweight division. So I'm just doing a quick re uh, di prediction on the fight if it does happen. Um, I only see one winner in this fight, which is Danny Garcia, only because of um, just his attitude to boxing is so much different to Adrian Broner's. It's a bit of an easy prediction to make because I know Adrian Broner is a really talented fighter and he's a four way world champion, a bit not really a really good four way world champion. He hasn't really beat, he never really beat anyone like world class to actually capture the four titles and four different weight classes, but that's a different story. But I just think Adrian Broner's talented, but his personal life is. Is slow is has sort of dug away at his career to the point where you think he's been in some big fights and he's lost them all. The Sean Porter fight, um, the Mikey Garcia fight, and also the uh, Mardana fight as well. I mean, it's like yeah, he's a sort of he's a good fighter. Everyone knows he's got talent. In, he's got the movement, the speed, the potential power. In different, air, he can sort of jump through different weight classes as well, which is always an advantage. Sometimes it isn't, but it's like he, I do think he's been slightly overrated as well in the past. Not much now because everyone, because everyone sort of sees him now in the spotlight for bad reasons more than good. Um, sort of shows you like vulnerability, I guess. And I don't, I don't think fighting Danny Garcia would be a good idea. He just come off, he's come off his first loss to Keith Furman in a unification world to a title um, fight. Uh, Danny Garcia is a good fighter. A few years ago, when he fought me, a long time ago, when he fought me at Khan, I remember thinking he's a quite limited fighter, strong, tough, but limited hand speed. Can he really do anything in in, in the uh, light weight division? Clearly, I was wrong. Unified, um, 140 pound champion, WBC champion as well. Yeah, it didn't work out, but Danny Garcia is still one of the biggest names uh, in the world weight division currently. Um, it's not like he's like just going to fall for the face of the earth because he's. I don't know about his following or something, or like paper view draw. I don't think even I don't really know much about that sort of side of him. But he's a good fighter, and that is exciting. He's been in a lot of big fights. Well, he's been in some big fights that have sort of elevated him and stuff, and he's recognisable, which is the whole point of boxing. Um, I don't think fighting Garcia now will be a good time because, like, if Adrian Broner, let's say Adrian Broner goes back to one four seven, trains hard, he's ready, he's in shape, mentally, physically, everything. I still don't think that Danny Garcia, uh, Adrian Broner would have a chance because Danny Garcia takes boxing seriously in both like areas, like boxing and personal. You never see Danny Garcia in the news for like I think it's like a sort or something or like uh, car damage and stuff. Like I'm not trying to dig Adrian Broner out because no one's perfect in this world. But so if you're a professional athlete, you're gonna have to you have to take it seriously from start of your career to the end of your career. Um, Obviously, I'm not perfect by any means, but like, it's not very good when you see a fighter who's talented, um, been into big fights, made a lot of money and stuff, and he's like, there's videos where he, like, he's throwing money in the toilet and stuff, and it's like, I know he's asked who he is and stuff and his personality, but he comes across like a bit of a dick sometimes. Um, and like, uh, yeah, I, I, he's excited for to watch that. I'm not saying he isn't, but I don't think to find Danny Garcia would be a good idea at this point. Um, so Danny Garcia, he, he fought next year and he lost and then Adrian Broner had a couple of good wins or something and then maybe fought end of, I don't know, end of 2018 or something. Maybe, because if Adrian Broner takes it seriously and he beats some, say, decent enough people, then it makes more sense. But at the minute, I just don't see how um, it would benefit Adrian Broner at all. Even if he did, if, say if he did beat him, I don't see Adrian Broner really taking advantage of it because like I could see him winning it. Maybe getting this like a world title contention or something. Something might happen down the line. This is based on what's happened recently with things, and then something will happen, and then after that, it will just sort of be like a one big circle. I don't think I see a wins. I think it's more the name rather than the fight that would elevate him to the sort of world title contention and stuff. Because if if this was like sort of say three four years ago, um, when Adrian Broner was was campaigning at world title for the first time and he was champion, beat him, handed him his first loss. Uh, become world champion, then of course, yeah, I mean, it holds a lot more weight. But at the minute, because uh, obviously Adrian Broner has been sort of like uh, sucking down with his boxing career and stuff, and his personal life as well being a big factor, 
um, I think it's more of a name that holds the weight rather than um, the actual like fight itself. It could be an interesting fight, I could be completely wrong, it could be an amazing fight, but it's still to be confirmed yet, yeah, this is just a rumour at this point. Um, I mean, say I could be wrong, could be the best fighter of next year. Danny Garcia is, is the bigger fighter, um, he's got probably got more power as well. Speed of goes to Broner, but sometimes speed can't carry you through a fight. Um, I do think because Danny Garcia has been at Walter Space since 2014, I think that's correct, I could be wrong. Uh, maybe 2015, it's got a bit more um, longevity um, or duration in being in a weight, whereas Amy Broner sort of jumped up and down the 140 pound, 147 pound weight class years, last couple of years. So I don't think that sort of favoured him at all. I'm not, uh, listen, I'm not trying, not trying to downgrade Amy Broner. He, he's a good fire every now and his day. He's been some good people. No one exceptional, but he's fought and he's broke good records as well. Because let's face it, a couple of years ago he was seen as one of the most up and coming, um, best fighters, or potentially could be one of the best fighters in the world. Of course, it derailed it when he lost to Marcus McDonald, sort of took it down as well since then. But on his day, a fit Adrian Broner, mentally, physically, he can do a lot of damage in, in boxing if he wants it enough. That's the thing, if he doesn't want it enough, we'll see the Adrian Broner of, of uh, sort of recently and I, I could see your personal life taking um, over that, as well, taking over boxing career as well. Because I think he's going to court as well soon, so that could be a big fact. <laughs> could be a big fact here as well. But only, only time will tell. Um, so I said, this is just a quick prediction about Danny Garcia, uh, Adrian Broner, possible fight prediction. Um, like I said, it's not, it's not a hate for Adrian Broner because I think he's a good fighter on his day, but I just favour Danny Garcia at this current point. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, give a like and comment as well if you want to, and I'll see you in my next video.